Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at Twin Harbors in Grayland, Washington on another beautiful Washington day. Uh, we are looking for razor clams which contain uh, Melicobdera grassa, um, a worm that uh, is known to inhabit 23 species of bivalves and we're hoping to find some specimens today. This is Melicobdala grassa, also known as the Nemeritan worm. It is common to Europe and the Pacific and Atlantic oceans of North America. It is found living in the mantle cavity of 23 bivalve species, like this razor clam here. It is a commensal parasite, meaning it, passes, it poses no benefit to the bivalve, yet does not harm it, and simply uses the bivalve as shelter and for food. Melicobdala grassa feeds off of plankton and other organic matter in the water, much like the razor clam here. It reaches sexual maturity around 20 to 40 millimeters in size. <clears throat> they are broadcast spawners, but can also brood larvae and reproduce asexually. Pelagic free-floating larvae do not feed and much like their more mature brooded larvae counterparts remain in the water column for several days or for several weeks even until they settle to the bottom and find a host like this razor clam here. Here is the third finding of the Nemertian worm in one of our 90 sampled razor clams over the course of this weekend. Um, as you can see up here there is a suction disc in which it uses to attach to the mantle cavity. Uh, the the Nemertian worm, aka the Melicobdala grassa, is not a commercially important species. However, it lives in in commercially important bivalves, and um, it is hypothesized that it go undergoes a secondary loss of cerebral organs, in which juvenile larvae of the Melicobdala grassa possess cerebral organs. However, then lose them as they mature. It's moving. It's moving. Just moved. 